Hey, welcome to the iGuide Casino Show. I'm Stephanie Holland. Uh, and I'm Timothy Gay. Thank you. So we've got a very eclectic group of events to talk about That's this a word. weekend. Um, starting with Friday night, the 5th of October, Jake Shimabukuro is playing Pachanga. Nice. I know. Very I was, good on that I've one. been practicing that <laughs> for a while. Um, he is a very talented uh, ukulele player from Hawaii. He has a lot of videos up on YouTube that you can check out where he plays like rock and roll sort of, you know, while my guitar gently weeps. Wow. Bohemian Rhapsody. Oh, you sold me right there. <laughs> Why <laughs> didn't you tell me that before? You but, should have led with that. <laughs> but he plays it on the ukulele, oh, wow. and it's awesome. He has a new CD coming out, so he's on tour. And you tour. talked to him. I did just talk to him like about 20 minutes ago, actually. And it, he couldn't have been nicer. Uh, he talked about the new record. He talked about, because he has some great covers on his new record. He does uh, Rolling in the Deep. Oh, man. And so he talked about, you know, taking something like Adele and, you know, breaking it down for his instrument and how that was different. He also does Over the Rainbow, which is, a, you know, a classic, of course. So I'm, <clears throat> I'm very interested in this now. I'm going to go to YouTube. Yeah, no, yeah, really great. So that's uh, Friday Night at Pachanga, and I would recommend you go check it out because the tickets aren't that expensive. So I think it's uh, something that you might be interested in. And also Friday, if you want to hear about George Thorgood playing Fantasy Springs, you could go check out Vanessa and I on the audio file because we talked about that a little more. Yes. Um, the next day, Saturday at Pachanga, completely different food truck festival. Part two. Oh, and you know, we all love a good food truck festival. Basically, they take all these fantastic food trucks in one place in the Pachanga parking lot and you can just, you know, walk around and try out what you want, what you don't want. There's a couple that are going to be there from uh, the great food truck race. Raging Cajun's going to be there. I believe Crepes Bonaparte is going to be there. So I do like crepes. Uh, I do know last year it got really packed Yeah. towards the middle, so I would suggest you get there a little early. Just it starts at 11, I believe. Get there at 9.30. <laughs> so, and I think that they do have, I don't know if they have any more of them for sale, but they did have available the VIP tickets where you sort of get an early entry if you pay it a little extra. And, and most of the food truck festivals do that now because yeah. I remember going one year to one festival where we were waiting forever for the grilled cheese truck. So, <laughs> so but these are really fun because you get to try out just all these different foods because it's, you know, Cajun food and burgers and, and cupcakes and... You know, Asian food. A do they have a Italian. Pepto Bismol truck there too? You <laughs> they, might prob need the they probably do in Tums, the corner. Big Tom's yeah. game. Yeah, so that should be a lot of fun. And then, of course, the other big thing happening over the weekend the rodeo's in town. So the PBR rodeo. <laughs> the PBR rodeo is going to be at Paula for two days on Saturday and Sunday. Um, really fun for the family, I guess. I mean, I've been to the rodeo once or twice before back in the day, and it was fun, but I don't know if I'd need to spend two days there, but I think it's a fun family activity because, you know, yeah. lots of animals and yeah. stuff. And, and it's very action. And also uh, very, you know, cheap for kids and a good, you know, so it's gonna, that's going to be at Paula. And then finally, if I said to you, Tim, free bird! <laughs> what would you think that meant? Uh, you're crazy? <laughs> well, yeah, of course. <laughs> but I think it also means that Leonard Skinner is playing. They're, they're playing. Yeah, yeah, they're playing Harris Rincon on Sunday night. And I'm just wondering how soon into the show does some guy in the back yell out, Freebird? Should they just lead with Freebird? No, and no. Play like they, a really small version to like just tease people, and then the very end you get Freebird. No, no, they've got to close with Freebird. No, I'm, okay. I'm guessing they close with Sweet Home Alabama and Freebird. The thing is, I don't know what they play for the rest of the show. I mean, I know they're great musicians. Uh, they're great musicians. They're great classic rock band. They've got lots of hits, but let's face it, they're known for Sweet Home Alabama and Freebird. No, they are. Yeah. So, you know, which, by the way, is probably my favorite song to play on rock band. So. Oh, it takes forever. You're sitting here like... But, oh, you feel like if you complete that guitar solo, you feel like such an accomplishment. You're doing this, <laughs> and then at the end, your fingers are like this. <laughs> but you feel good about yourself. You have to walk like, around, like, eating like this. because you're I nailed Freebird. <laughs> so, that's all we've got this week. Of course, you can always follow us on Twitter at iGuide underscore casinos. 
And you can check out the blog, pe.com slash iguide slash casinos for all the latest information. Latest.